It's September, and you know what that means. Brand new TV shows. But the fall TV season is uh, about so much more than just TV. There's new TV, new movies, new music, and tons of special events from the Emmys to the iHeartRadio Music Festival to Rihanna's Savage Fenty fashion show. And you can just say fall TV into your voice remote and explore our fall entertainment guide on both Flex and X1, where we've handpicked the best of the best in entertainment this season and organized them in calendar format through November, complete with premiere dates and networks. But that's not it. Do you want the best of the best right now? We've got you covered with this week's trending shows. Are you wondering what your favorite shows are returning? We've got you covered with a row of shows you've watched and the day they premiere. You can browse personalized show recommendations, returning shows by genre, watch trailers for new shows, explore the year's Emmy winners, or check out the best premieres for streaming networks like Peacock, HBO Max, Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, and more. And if you still can't decide what to watch, check out each Xfinity editor's pick of the week or take a deeper dive into collections like Hispanic Heritage Month, the HBCU Experience, or the NFL Watch Guide. Just say Fall TV into your voice remote and let the binging begin. And in the spirit of this hand-curated collection of the best in fall entertainment, we editors, who are all making faces at me and you can't see it because it's just me on screen, but they're trying to make me laugh, um, we thought we would tell you about some of the shows and movies and specials we're excited about this season, starting with me, because I haven't talked enough yet this segment. First off, Succession is back on HBO Max on October 17th. I mean, I'm not sure what else I can say about this incredible show that I haven't already said or we haven't already said in almost every episode we have. Um, season two ended on somewhat of a cliffhanger where Kendall Roy betrays his father on national TV in one of the greatest TV moments of 2019. Uh, Adrian Brody and Alexander Skarsgård joined the cast for season three, and it's going to be so good. And then another show that ended on a cliffhanger is Yellowstone, which is back on Paramount on November 7th. The Dutton family was simultaneously targeted with bombs and hitmen in season three's explosive uh, explosive finale. And who will survive? I hope it's Beth, and I hope it's Rip, um, because that would be devastating if they didn't make it. Um, and you can catch up on the first three seasons right now on Peacock. It's one of the best shows on TV, so I highly recommend it. Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol is also on Peacock. The series just premiered last week and follows symbologist Robert Langdon as he teams up with the CIA to locate his missing mentor. The character of Robert Langdon was previously played by Tom Hanks in movie adaptations of Dan Brown's books, The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. And the lost symbol follows Langdon early in his career. And finally, I cannot wait for the release of director Denis Villeneuve's science fiction epic, Dune. <laughs> On HBO Max, you should have seen me earlier Googling how to pronounce his name correctly. Denis Villeneuve. I still don't know if I did it. Um, <laughs> HBO Max, October 22nd. Uh, Dune is based on the 1965 novel of the same name. This movie features an all-star cast, including Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Jason Brolin, or Josh Brolin, Zendaya, Javier Bardem, Jason Momoa, and Stellan Skarsgård. It has a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes after premiering at the Venice Film Festival, and I can't wait to see it. It's going to be awesome. Audrey, your picks for the shows that you are looking forward to most <laughs> this fall. Yeah, so let's see. That was um, a tough show to follow, but I'm going to start with Curb Your Enthusiasm because, I mean, all I have to say is Larry David. Um, and that's all you should need to know about this show in order to watch it because he is just everyone's favorite curmudgeon and he's back for season 11 um bringing all of his like you know hemming and hawing and trash talking and grunting and all the wonderful things that you could want um so on hbo curb your enthusiasm everyone get there um halloween kills we already talked about um it's going to be on peacock the same day as it's in theaters on october 15th um so we've established that 
Scott, David, and I are all very excited. Landon is still a little scared, but we're going to get him on board. Um, <laughs> Legends of the Hidden Temple um, on CW. I know David is also really excited for this, and I think Scott, too. Does Landon know what Legends of the Hidden Temple is? Oh, come yes. On, yes, I do. Okay. Yes. All right. Oh, Absolutely. don't act like it's surprising yeah, that we come would on. ask you that question. Uh, are you a purple parrot or a silver monkey? I mean, come oh, on. Total These are purple parrot. <laughs> yeah, I'm a purple parrot. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Scott, what, well, were, then... what were you? Sorry, oh, Audrey. I mean, I wanna... no. I think, yeah, I. it's a tough one because, like, silver monkey probably suits my personality more nowadays, but definitely purple parrot back in the day. So it was the silver snakes and the green. Oh, sorry, silver snakes, green monkeys. Okay, then I silver snakes. Always... Actually, 100% silver snakes. Yeah, silver Liar. snakes, way cooler. Way cooler. <laughs> I, well, I was a green monkey. Sorry so... about it, Audrey. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's Audrey, fine. Audrey, what, what were you? Red jaguar? Oh, Whoa. sure. I'll be that. Um, but for those of like... you who don't know <laughs> who, what this show is that we're talking about, all these weird colors and animals, um, <laughs> it was a Nickelodeon show in the 90s, which is why I asked if Landon knew, because Landon just happens to be a little bit younger than the three of us. Um, but you, it was a staple of a game show <laughs> in the 90s. Um, and this time, they're bringing back adults to the CW to run through this crazy jungle. And the sets look amazing. It has, like, floor is lava vibes. Um, mixed with like the original Legends of the Hidden Temple. So um, super excited to see how this is going to pan out. Um, and then American Rust is airing on Showtime now. Um, it's a new drama, family drama told through um, the eyes of Jeff Daniels, who is the police chief, who, um, you know, we're not quite sure where this is going yet, but there is, you know, some crime that happens and it's in the Rust Belt of Pennsylvania. Kind of has like a little bit of like Mayor of Easttown vibes. Um, so I started watching it. I need to watch the most recent episode, but I like where it's going. Um, so that's what I'm into. Nice. Landon, yeah. what are you looking forward to uh, this fall? Honestly, taking a trip down to the Rust Belt of Pennsylvania. That's what I was looking into. But uh, mm. no, everybody, football is back. And that means I'm, I'm watching TV again, guys. That is That is really all that matters in my life. Football all the time i'm so sad honestly it, it's happy to be here with you guys but it's a tuesday and that means there's no football tonight so i just i wrap up work here and i just go cry for a couple hours till thursday um but everybody look the nfl is here again and let me tell you the most important part of the nfl season is the schedule and i really think i really think that 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 man goodell he figured it out i mean the opener bucks cowboys Monday's Ravens Raiders, Sunday's Chiefs Ravens. What fun games. I mean, you've got potential game of the year games to start the season. And this Monday, I know there's there's David's gonna be ready for this one. Eagles Cowboys. We got we got birds, we got birds and the boys this Monday. Yeah. Let's get ready for it. Classic but classic rivalry. Sports. So ball. if the schedule stays like this, sports. And, and, and sports. No, <laughs> see, I got as much as I love horror, you guys love sports. So this is this, mm -hmm. this is fantastic. Well, look, if the schedule stays like this, don't wake me up when September ends Green Day. I'm just gonna give myself a little laugh there. I'm gonna wow. pen that one on wow. me. And uh, I want it to be September forever. Come on, come on. So good. But, I'll uh, give it to you. You can have it. Thank you, David. Thank you. But uh, but the cool thing is you can utilize your voice remote. Oh no, we lost all... Landon. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back. No. There he is. Uh, we know he's, he's you're good. Back. You're good. Am I he good? He froze for a second. It, yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, go for Wait, it. Who's more back, me or the NFL? Because you can do it all with your voice remote, <laughs> gang. Say NFL into your voice remote, and you can find stats and standings, Woo! highlights, live games, whatever you want. Maybe the NFL's not for you. You can say college football. I mean, this past week, and we had Penn State Auburn. What a thriller in prime time. We've got Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday night football. And if you're like me, the second Thursday kicks in, my brain turns into fantasy mode. And boy, do I have a deal for you. I really wish like we could have had some like lighting in the background. I go into an infomercial, but it didn't happen. Um, but for real, just say fantasy football on your remote, and you can get tips and tricks. You can find your waiver wire ads. And uh, and really, on a Sunday, I don't know I don't know what all of you guys do, but I sit around with the <laughs> nicest cheeses, the nicest charcuterie, the nicest <laughs> wings, some beer, and Scott Hansen for seven and a half hours of uninterrupted, commercial-free NFL. And if NFL's not your, not your grab, we've got the Ryder Cup as well. 
We've got some fun storylines. We've got Justin Thomas, Jordan Spieth back. We've got life haters, Bryson DeChambeau, Brooks Kepka. They're battling out. Rumor has it they went to dinner last night. They're ready to stop murking each other on TV. And by far, we're, we're waiting an extra year for this Ryder Cup. It's every two years. So it's been three years. You should be one and a half times more excited for the Ryder Cup. Listen to how excited Scott is, everybody. Scott is ready for the Clearly. Ryder Cup. I'm so and, confused uh, right now. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm excited. Well, Scott, Go. you know what? We're heading, we're heading to Sheboygan, Wisconsin for the Ryder Cup. And that's, you know what? NBC, Peacock, Golf Channel. Just get ready, everybody, because sports, it's, it's fall, and fall means sports. So. Uh, Landon, why would you waste stomach space on the worst snack of all time, Cheez-Its? Bite your um, tongue, my friend. Because I love my life. <laughs> the the driest, words over most here. boring <laughs> cracker no. ever no, no, no. created. Yeah. Negative. Hmm. So Disagree. you're a goldfish over cheese. Are you a cheese nip guy? Are you a cheese oh, nip no. guy? No, cheese no, 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 no. No oh, fish? No. Do you like no whales? Kids? No, no version of that cracker in any shape. It's dry and boring. Unless they will unless Tabasco, it's the one with Speak for yourself. You know, oh, don't dusted. say flavor dust. No, 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 yes. no, 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 no. Flavor dusted no. Okay, wavy. Here we I'll go. eat that. No. Okay. No. Wait, real okay. Okay. extra toasty cheese it. Extra toast. No, Audrey. Uh, Audrey, shh. Yes. No extra toast. Yuck. <laughs> yes. Go oh, on I love my, path, I love everything Turn burned. Turn Ooh, around, yum. Audrey. Burn flavor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like burn flavor. But but hold on. Let me let me pose. If we're going to stop on Cheez-Its, we're going to stop for this one last debate. Bagel bites yeah. or pizza rolls? Because oh, my also God. Bagel bites. Oh, state. Lord. No, it's bagel definitely bite. microwave, 100%. lava hot, burn my mouth pizza rolls. No. Either one is going to burn the roof microwave? of your mouth. Yeah, um, Scott, no, we're, we're all about time I'm, uh, here. I can't miss seven and a half hours of commercial free NFL football on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Plan ahead, Landon. Be yeah. better. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Moving on to finish this segment out. I know I derailed us. Yeah. Scott, uh, your favorite shows of this coming fall. I absolutely. But before we get into that, Scott Hansen, Landon, that's the one. That's the younger Hansen brother, right? Uh, he's no. one of a bunch of Hansons, yes. Yeah, he was no, okay. he was bopping his way to the NFL Network. Yes, that's correct. I knew it. Oh I knew God. it. Of course, you had a line for that. <laughs> um, unsurprisingly, I am super, super excited about all of the horror that is coming to Fall TV this year, uh, particularly their revivals. Uh, you know, we've got Dexter coming back. We've got Chucky coming back. We've got I Know What You Did Last Summer coming back. Ah, just so many wonderful, wonderful things. Um, first up, let's talk about Dexter. New Blood, this series is going to be picking up basically as if time had just passed. And this is, you know, just putting the cameras back on Dexter after all of these, what, almost a decade now since the Dexter um, series finale um, to not so great reviews. Uh, I think people were pretty upset with the way that it ended. You know, nobody wanted to see him just turn into a lumberjack and just be like, bye, whatever. Um, <laughs> so we're going to see what happened there. Um, and I'm super excited about it. I just uh, sat down with Michael C. Hall not too long ago, and that will be coming out very shortly. Uh, so I'm excited to see what this series has to offer. They've been very, very tight-lipped about where it's going. Um, what we do know is that Deb is going to be his new voice of reason uh, within his head. So we'll get to see her again, which is very, very exciting. Uh, so definitely make sure you check that out on Showtime, uh, November 7th. That premieres. Uh, Chucky, which is premiering uh, simultaneously on USA and Sci-Fi, will uh, be coming around October 12th. So right in the middle of spoopy season. Excited about this one. I don't actually know too much about this series. Uh, from what I can tell from the trailers, it looks like the child is sort of complicit in the killings that Chucky is doing, which, you know, whatever. Do what you got to do, I guess. Um, but <laughs> I guess at some point, Chucky turns on this child and things start to turn sour in their relationship. So really, it's like a When Harry Met Sally plus a murderous doll type situation. So something to look forward to. Um, one other series that I'm looking forward to is Killer Camp, which is uh, something that I know me and David both enjoyed the first time around. Uh, so that premieres on CW October 10th. Uh, it's basically a reality show where people are tricked into going to a camp. 
um, only to find out that one of them there is a serial killer and they get sort of voted off contestant style or like a competition style only to be murdered off in these really ridiculous um, vignettes, essentially. They were pretty intense the first time around. It was actually ported over from the UK and some of it sort of got blurred out or cut for the US. So I'm excited to see what they do with the second season just because obviously some of the twists and turns that happened in the first season will have already been pretty clear to anybody walking into this situation. So <laughs> excited about that one. Any thoughts on that, David, since I know you were a fan before? I was, and I'll just echo the sentiment that I was really disappointed that the really cool like killings that they had were censored for the U S version. Cause they were really cool in the British version, but it's a really cool like way, like twist on a reality competition to like, bring a real life horror movie to a camp and act it out. It was really clever, I thought, and well done. Very interesting. And how horrible was that ending? Like that poor person who was essentially the killer and screwing all of these people over and like was literally the worst person ever. It, it was just wonderful. Really, really good. Great television. Yeah. Highly recommend if you like really snarky, confusing reality television shows. And then my final pick. Yeah. Um, is I Know What You Did Last Summer, which premieres on uh, Prime Video October 15th. They're actually dropping four episodes at launch, and then they're going to do weekly premieres after that. Uh, I actually watched the premiere of this the other day. I'm not at liberty to say my thoughts on it, but let's just say it was it was a, a, a fun show, and I'm excited to see the rest of it. So let's go there. Um, <laughs> it definitely echoes the sort of sentiment and feeling of the uh, the original series, which they've said as much, or the creators have said as much. I think that's really, really cool. So you'll get to see a sort of a reimagining of the I Know What You Did Last Summer story, but set in Hawaii uh, with a bunch of really young students. Uh, so keep an eye out for that one. Awesome. Well, you can explore these shows and more by saying Fall TV or Fall Entertainment Guide into your remote. 